Thank you for watching Rage Gaming YouTube channel. Welcome into the channel. Today, I will show you how to set up the files for community online tools so you can have admin abilities in your DayZ server. Before we begin, you will need to make sure that you have already installed the community online tools to your DayZ server, started your server, and you or someone has been your server since you installed this mod. Doing this enables the game to generate the files needed in your profiles folder. After you have done that, open your FTP. File transfer protocol. I use WinSCP. I will leave links to everything I use in the description. Navigate to your profiles folder. After you get into your profiles, there is two separate folders for community online tools. First being community online tools. This one has loadouts, teleports, weather, and webhooks. The second is the permissions framework, which allows you to give or remove certain permissions for a player. In other words, to make admins. For this video, I will only be in the permissions framework folder because that folder is all we need to make a player an admin. After you have made your way into the permissions framework folder, we need to set up a role for your admins. I will show you how to make a new role that is not the main admin role. Double click into roles. You should see two roles, admin.txt and everyone.txt. The everyone.txt one is meant for all your normal players. It has no admin permissions whatsoever. The admin.txt is your main admin role. Everything in that is set to two meaning that whoever has that role has all the abilities this mod has to offer. But drag this everyone.txt into the left side into a folder or spot of your choosing. I will just put on my desktop for this tutorial. Now go to your desktop and open that file. Use the shortcut control A to highlight all. Then the shortcut control C to copy what is highlighted. Open the file editor that you use. I use Visual Studio Code. Once Visual Studio Code is opened, press Ctrl N for a new text file. Now use the shortcut Ctrl V to paste what you copied a minute ago. Now you will notice all these lines have a zero next to them. This means all these are off. Zero means off. One means to follow the next one ahead, and two means on. What I mean by the number one follows the next one ahead is when you have one of these lines set to number one, it will copy whatever the next one down is. So if the next one down is a number two, then this number one will look like a one, but acts like a two. And since it is acting like a two, meaning the admin that has this role will be able to use both of those. If the next number down is a zero, then that means that ability for your admin is off. They can't use it. You just need to go through this all and set whatever you are wanting a server admin to have. Make sure you read each line. If you're unsure of what a line may mean, then just leave it off. Leave the zero. I will leave a copy of my server admins role for you to copy if you would like. After you have finished editing the file for your server admins, save the file as whatever name you want, but as a text file, so dot text after whatever name you put. Go back to the FTP that you use. Make sure that you are still in the role section of the permissions framework on the right hand side. If you are, go to the left side here and find the updated file that you just saved. Mine is on the desktop still. 
drag that to the right side. In the same area as where it says admin.txt and everyone.txt. Now you have a new role in here for your admins. Now I need to assign a player to a role of your choosing. Go back one time. Now, double click the players. This in here is where you can find the GUID for each player. A player's GUID meaning globally unique identifier is a unique identifier used by BattleEye, the anti-cheat system, to track players. Finding the right GUID for yourself or another player might be a little difficult if you have had a lot of players on your server since you installed the community online tools mod. It's best if you install the mod, you go in and immediately go into the files so you will hopefully be the only one there. If for some unfortunate reason there is a lot of GUID in here, then you will need some other source to find your GUID. Once the files are set up and you are able to open up your admin tools in game, you will be able to get the GUID of other players while they are in game. Or you can use an outside source like CF Tools Cloud or Battle Metrics. I prefer CF Tools Cloud. Now that you know the GUID for yourself or another player that you are wanting to make an admin, go back to your FTP and find that GUID in the players folder. Clicking into it should show two words, roles and everyone. If you're sure this is the right GUID for the person you're wanting to be an admin, you can change the word everyone to whatever you named that new role you made earlier. Or change it to admin if you want them to have every admin ability. Then save and restart your server and go into your server. Apologize for the wait. After you get in, press the in button on your keyboard to activate the community online tools. Then press the letter Y on your keyboard to open the tools. While we are in here, to find another player's GUID after you have successfully gave yourself admin tools, open your admin tools and go to player management. Click the box for the player you want. Since this is my test server, I'm the only one that ever joins this server, so I will use myself for this example. Right here is my GUID. This is where it is for all players. The only downside is the player has to be in the game in order to get the GUID this way. Anyway, now you or someone you know has admin abilities. In future videos, I will go over each section of these tools for a better understanding of each tool. Thank you for watching Rage Gaming YouTube channel. Like and subscribe.